The civil authorities have issued an administrative message for Sedgwick KS, beginning at 9.37 a.m. and ending at 10.22 a.m. Sedgwick County Emergency Management will be testing the outdoor warning signs at noon today. Sedgwick County outdoor warning signs are tested every Monday at noon, except holidays and when threatening weather is present. Today we will be testing the alert mode for one minute. The alert mode is a steady tone used for tornado warning. The attack mode is a classic rise and fall sound used for air attack warning in times of war. Outdoor warning sirens are designed to be an early warning device primarily for persons who are outside away from the television and the radio. Remember, when the outdoor warning sirens sound, take cover, tune into local media, take action. Emergency management officials highly recommend citizens keep an away weather radio on their homes, preferably in the bathroom, with a tone alert for those times when you are not monitoring public media. This broadcast originates from Sedgwick County Emergency Management located at 714 North Main, Wichita, Kansas. WPMQ 391. No action required test only. The civil authorities have issued a required monthly test for all of Virginia beginning at 10.45 a.m. and ending at 12.45 p.m. This is a test of the Virginia Emergency Alert System. In the event of an emergency, this system would bring you important information.
The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 507, effective until 10 p.m. This watch includes the following county, Alamucky, Iowa, and the following counties, in Minnesota, Houston and Winona, and the following counties, in Wisconsin, Buffalo, Crawford, Jackson, La Crosse, Monroe, Trumpelo, and Vernon. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the Service in Des Moines has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Lucas County in south central Iowa, southwestern Marion County in south central Iowa, northeastern Clark County in south central Iowa, southern Warren County in south central Iowa, until 5.15 p.m. At 4.23 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located 9 miles southeast of Avenue of the Saints Event Center, or 12 miles southwest of Indianola, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Melcher, Dallas. This includes Interstate 35 between mile markers 42 and 50. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 5.15 p.m. for the following counties in Iowa. Clark, Lucas, Marion, and Warren. The National Weather Service in Nashville has issued a flash flood warning for Northern Giles County in Middle Tennessee, West Central Marshall County in Middle Tennessee, Eastern Maury County in Middle Tennessee, South Central Williamson County in Middle Tennessee, until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 4.10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated thunderstorms producing heavy rain across the warned area. Between 1.5 and 2.5 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches are possible in the warned area. Flash flooding is ongoing or expected to begin shortly. Hazard, flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. Impact, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Columbia, Spring Hill, Thompson Station, Lineville, I-65 east of Columbia and Kalioka. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. In hilly terrain there are hundreds of low water crossings which are potentially dangerous in heavy rain. Do not attempt to cross flooded roads. Find an alternate route. National Weather Service in Des Moines has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Davis County in southeastern Iowa, southeastern Wayne County in south central Iowa, southern Appanoose County in south central Iowa, until 7.15 p.m. At 6.34 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located 10 miles north of Unionville, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following
following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Centerville. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 7.15 p.m. for the following counties in Iowa, Appanus, Davis, and Wayne. National Weather Service in Des Moines has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Davis County in southeastern Iowa until 7.45 p.m. At 7.10 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Bloomfield, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near Bloomfield around 7.15 p.m. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 7.45 p.m. for the following county, Davis, Iowa. The National Weather Service in La Crosse has issued a tornado warning for Eastern Vernon County in southwestern Wisconsin, northwestern Richland County in southwestern Wisconsin, until 7.45 p.m. At 7.17 p.m., severe thunderstorms capable of producing both tornadoes and extensive straight-line wind damage were located 8 miles south of Lafarge, or 12 miles southeast of Viroqua, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. These dangerous storms will be near Lafarge around 7.25 p.m. Hillsboro around 7.45 p.m. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Rockton, Reedstown, Kirkapoo Center, Martins Corners, Sylvan, Liberty and White City. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. This cluster of thunderstorms is capable of producing tornadoes and widespread significant wind damage. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in La Crosse has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Grant County in southwestern Wisconsin, southern Richland County in southwestern Wisconsin, east central Crawford County in southwestern Wisconsin, until 8 p.m. At 7.20 p.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Boscobel to 7 miles north of Finnemar to near Lancaster, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Severe thunderstorms will be near Muscadet around 7.35 p.m. Richland Center around 7.50 p.m. Other locations impacted by these severe thunderstorms include Preston, Highway 61 and County T, Montfort, Eagle Cave, Mount Ida, Plugtown and Ithaca. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8 p.m. for the following counties in Wisconsin, Crawford, Grand and Richland.
National Weather Service in La Crosse has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southern Juneau County in central Wisconsin, northeastern Vernon County in southwestern Wisconsin, northeastern Richland County in southwestern Wisconsin, southeastern Monroe County in west central Wisconsin until 8.15 p.m. At 7.40 p.m., severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 10 miles west of Elroy to Hillsboro to 11 miles southwest of Wanawak, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Severe thunderstorms will be near Wanawak around 7.45 p.m. Elroy around 7.50 p.m. Moston around 7.55 p.m. New Lisbon around 8 p.m. Other locations impacted by these severe thunderstorms include Barton's Corners, Dell's Timberland Campground, Bunker Hill, Johnson Hill, Linden Station, Germantown and Glendale. This includes Interstate 90-94 between mile markers 59 and 80. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 8.15 p.m. for the following counties in Wisconsin, Juneau, Monroe, Richland, and Vernon. The National Weather Service in Green Bay has issued a special marine warning for Central and Southern Bay of Green Bay until 12.15 a.m. At 10.45 p.m., a strong thunderstorm was located near Green Bay, moving northeast at 35 knots. Hazard, wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source, radar indicated. Impact, small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. A strong thunderstorm will be near, long tail point light around 10.55 p.m. Green Bay Harbor entrance light around 11.05 p.m. Bayshore Park around 11.10 p.m. Oconto around 11.25 p.m. Peshtigo Reef Light around 11.45 p.m. Marinette around 11.50 p.m. Egg Harbor around 12.05 a.m. Move to Safe Harbor until hazardous weather passes. A civil authority has issued a required monthly test until 13.06 Eastern Daylight Time on Tuesday, September 21, 2021, for entire state, Missouri. Message from Mo Missouri Highway Patrol. The following is a statewide monthly test of the emergency alert system, originating from the Missouri State Highway Patrol in Jefferson City and coordinated with the local broadcasters in your community. This is only a test. evacuation, or other emergency, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test, brought to you by the Connecticut Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection. The civil authorities have issued an immediate evacuation for Mitchell IA and Mower MN, beginning at 5.09 p.m. and ending at 6.09 p.m.
Mower County officials are requesting residents that live within a one-mile radius of 70,587 110th Street Atoms MN to evacuate due to a possible chemical release.